Welcome to another edition of the CEO's blog. We've got plenty to talk about. So, John, thank you for joining. That's my pleasure. Uh, let's talk about Kevin Pizzuto and uh, Karen Crouch. They were involved in a, a car accident uh, on Tuesday morning, and luckily they're both okay. Yeah, nasty accident. Um, uh, they are both okay. Um, uh, Karen is a bit battered and bruised, um, uh, some fractures, um, broken ribs, so I understand. Uh, Kevin's quite okay. Um, importantly, the horses are okay as well and Tiger Tara was on the on the float as well as uh, three others so um, one of these unfortunate things but we you know we wish them all the best and and we want to see Karen back and and running the stable um, Kevin's in charge but uh, Karen running that stable as soon as possible most definitely now yeah it was uh, they were driving back from track work I believe yeah back from track work um, yeah. accident not their fault yeah someone else's fault um, um, these things happen um, um, yeah, there's a bit of damage to the vehicles, of course, um, but like I say, um, Karen battered and bruised, Kevin okay, um, the horse as well as also. Okay, well, they're very lucky. All right, change of pace. Uh, let's talk about the close of nominations in the Western Districts. Yeah, this is something new that um, we're looking at with the Western Districts. What we have to remember is we need to maximise wagering turnover. Mm. Um, when we're getting... Uh, more horses nominated for the Sunday meeting, which uh, attracts less wagering turnover than the Wednesday meeting, Bathurst meeting being a really strong wagering turnover meeting. Mm. We need need to have balanced fields uh, in both places. We need eight races in both places. So we're trying something different. We're closing those nominations at the same time, and we're going to balance out those fields as best we can. Uh, of course, always looking at um, where participants um, really need to race. So what what is the difference? Uh, the, the difference is that they're both 9.30am on a Thursday um, uh, for the Western Districts only and that'll be uh, Bathurst, they're always on the Wednesday mm -hmm. and whichever Sunday meeting it might be Parks or Dubbo. Yeah, okay, alright. Uh, well, yeah, see what that, how that all turns out. Uh, let's talk about, uh, well, we've only got a few more days till the end of the season. Yeah, a few more days, yeah. uh, but already the um, metropolitan season is is finished. So, um, congratulations to um, Shane Tritton and Lauren uh, for their effort at the metropolitan trainers. And you know, Lauren finished so close second mm -hmm. to Todd in the drivers' premiership for the metropolitan club Menangle. Um Great effort. Uh, would have been. It's good to see Todd win, but it would have been a historic point had Lauren uh, became uh, become the leading trainer and driver, all be it uh, partnership, mm. uh, in that Metropolitan Premiership. Yeah, it was really close. Todd won with with 45 wins. Lauren was next on 44, and Luke McCarthy third on 43. And Saturday night, they all got a win, and and Todd walked away with the treble just to seal that Premiership, which was good. So yeah, we've only got another couple more meetings. Looks like Kerry and Turner's leading the charge in the State mm. Premiership, and Todd McCarthy in the State Drivers Premiership. Yeah, well. Todd again, um, and well done to Todd, of course. But Kerry Ann, what a marvellous effort there! Um, uh, if there's a race meeting on, and and she can get her chauffeur, which is Peter Morris Senior, to drive the float there, they're off to uh, you know Bathurst. They go to Newcastle. They go to Goulburn. They go wherever races can be won. And and and. Well done, Kerry Ann. Um, uh, Robbie's there to help, and all the rest of the stable uh, is there. Um, Margaret, she she keeps the whole um, Margaret Morris keeps the whole team in shape. But um, yeah, well done, Kerry Ann Turner. Very very well deserved. Yeah, well, I think her goal was 150 winners for the season, and she's she's well over that now. Yeah, she's as a trainer. smashed that. Yeah, no, the hard work, a lot of hard work. Okay, John, let's talk about drought assistance. Have we have an update on that? Well, you have an update on. Well, that. I have an update on that. Yeah. Um, the the board deliberated on on how we assist our stakeholders um, with the drought conditions that are prevailing um, best, and uh, they've come up with a couple of pretty reasonable strategies um, which um, I'm sure will help. Um, it will help our stakeholders being able to access uh, feed and fodder and there's a couple of other things. We just have to sign off on those. We, we need to talk to other people within our industry, uh, other um, stakeholders who could be affected by whatever these decisions are to make sure that they are the right decisions. But um, certainly uh, the board members of Harness Racing New South Wales are clearly looking at how we can assist um, with the breeding season almost on us, how we can assist there and how we can keep our racing stock um, uh, 
up to the mark where we, we, we get solid um, race meetings and race fields. So that will come out in the, in the next couple of days. Uh, I wish I could tell you more now, mm. uh, but we'll, um, we'll certainly um, pass that on. So uh, all participants should be um, well aware of, of checking text messages and other notifications by, via email that go out to them as to how we are, we're going to assist with uh, drought relief. Okay, all right, we'll watch this space. Absolutely. All right, John, have you got anything else for us for this edition of the blog? Not today. Not today. All right, well, it's a pleasure uh, to have you here as always, and we look forward to next time. Certainly.